think you have a, a, a paradox in this moment, which is that, at least in our judgment, none of the main actors actually want a war. Israel doesn't want a war, um, although they may well be prepared to engage in one uh, if necessary from their perspective, protect their interests, but they don't want one. Um, I don't believe Hezbollah actually wants a war. Lebanon certainly doesn't want a war because it would be the leading victim uh, in, uh, in, in such a war. Uh, and I don't believe that Iran wants a war, in part because it wants to make sure that Hezbollah is not destroyed and that it can hold on to Hezbollah as a, a card if it needs it, if it ever gets into a direct conflict with Israel. So on the one hand, no one actually wants a war. On the other hand, you have forces, momentum, that may be leading in that direction. Hezbollah, of course, has tied what it's doing to the situation in Gaza and has said that uh, if there's a ceasefire in Gaza, it will stop firing in Israel. Now, that shouldn't be firing to begin with. It's wrong in and of itself, but it's also a reality. So it only underscores why getting that ceasefire could also be critical to further enabling the diplomacy 